Hey, Assalamu alaikum. Is sweating is best for your health or not? Let's understand about that. During the hot weather, your sweating will be increased. And in the, for example, whenever you will go into the gym, so also sweating will produce more. In this way, the, basically your sweat gland produce more and more water and with the salt. So remember about that. In this way, the sweating is important and good as healthy. Yes, sweating is very important. Why? Let's understand about that. For example, whenever the sweat will increase, so the sweat gland produce more water, but it is not only water. In this way, basically your body when hot, so your sweat gland will release the heat in the form of water. Water contain too much heat and that heat will release in the air uh, through evaporation of the water. In this way, the sweating is very important for the regulation of the heat in your body. It is known as the thermoregulation. And thermoregulation is important due to the sweat gland. And this is the number one thing. During the cold weather, the thermogenesis to produce more ATP and the UCP to, to produce more heat due to the hypothalamus give the signal to increase the heat. While in the hot, hot weather, the hypothalamus give the signal to decrease the uh, heat level in your body rather than the 38 to the basically 37, it should be 37 and whenever the 38 or 39 um, rise so in this way your body basically will uh, down regulate through a sweat gland and in this way the sweat gland produce more um, uh, perspiration this is known as the perspiration and in this way the more heat will be lost this is the number one benefit in this way your body will regulate and your thermoregulation will be improved due to the sweating without sweating you can increase the heat in your body and in this way the heat in your body will lead to cause fever like uh, complication and the fever like symptoms and in this way your body will not work properly because your body contain enzyme and that all enzyme work on the uh, 37 degree celsius temperature and in this way your body work not properly so that is why sweat gland is very important for the normal metabolism normal physiology of your body but one important thing is that the sweat gland also release the sodium and the other salt as well as the sebaceous gland also release the oil, sebaceous oil basically produce sebum and this is the sebaceous oil which that also nourish your skin and in this way your skin oily but it is not any problem because the oily skin also healthy and it is it means the outer layer of the basically sebaceous gland also contain a antimicrobial protein and antimicrobial uh, uh, antimicrobial compound which that resist as a barrier immunity in this way your barrier immunity improve and the basically is the all microbes will not attack in your skin and in this way your skin will be healthy but also the sodium release what is the important things about the sodium excrete from the skin in this way your kidney will not work and uh, kidney will relax more and not want to excrete the sodium and in this way your skin release the sodium from the uh, sweat gland and in this way a decrease of the sodium will lead to improve the hypertension problem and normal blood circulation in this way whenever you will drink water so the hot weather require too much water drinking while the cold weather not require too much drink water so please my suggestion is that in the hot weather you should drink more and more water to sweat more in this way more sweating to release more sodium and more salts and in this way the salt is important hypertensive uh, agent in this way the hypertension the blood pressure rise problem will be solved and in this way whenever the hot weather will occur in your country you should remain in the hot weather don't use the air condition and please go for the sweating and increase the sweating to release the sodium which that is not able to release from the uh, kidney and in this way the kidney basically reabsorb the sodium and in this way due to the basically the sodium is the extracellular cation so in this way the sodium will be uh, absorbed reabsorbed in the nephron while the excrete potassium more because the potassium is the intracellular cation 
so our body will learn and excrete more sodium uh, more sodium because uh, sorry more uh, potassium while the sodium will basically reabsorb but this sodium will excrete through the skin and in this way your skin basically release the sodium and in this way your hypertension problem will be solved i hope you make sense about that if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share see in the next video for this one bye allah hafiz